Hey folks, today I'm going to use, try using this transfer pump to suck the gas out of the, the snowmobile tank and into that five gallon can. So a friend of mine used one of these. I guess he, he's had pretty good luck with it. So. There you go. Get the get the spout off of the gas can. It's kind of hard to pump backwards through that stupid safety spout, whatever you want to call it. Pretty simple, there isn't much to it. You know, tiny little pump, I think it's maybe about a gallon a minute or something. So this could take a while. A friend of mine, his favorite stores are Dollar Tree and Harbor Freight. Well, getting the Dollar Tree in town soon. Uh, the Family Dollar cold stuff that's converting over. All I need is a Harbor Freight, and I have everything I need within eight miles. Except the John Deere dealer. That one's a little further away. Okay. According to the picture, pointy tip down, positive down. Well, it's got a little uh, hook thingy there. Probably to hang it up on. Oop. Gotta take that off. It says it can test it without fluid for no more than 10 seconds. Okay, it reaches the bottom. Hoping at a pretty good flow rate. Doing this to uh, get the gas out of there. For one, don't need it in here. It's going to be junk gas uh, by spring anyway. Yeah, by spring it is. It's, past, it's almost summer. Junk by next winter anyway, so might as well get some kind of use out of it. Pump it out for the generator. papers here before it all blows away. It's supposed to rain all day today on Memorial Day, so. Yeah, this is what you need to do for storage of snowmobiles, especially if you have a fuller tank. Use one of these, drain the gas out, run it in the lawnmower or something. Something that's not sensitive on fuel quality. If you're going to burn it all up right away, or a generator for using it a lot. But speaking of generators, with that battery setup I got, only running it for three to four and a half hours a day depends on the charge cycle. You know how far the batteries were drained down. So probably looking at an average of three and a half hours I'd say that's saving a fortune in fuel this thing is almost done that was pretty quick Run it for just a little bit more. Right, 
grab another can and I dribble gas all over the place. It only took that long to get out about five gallons out of it. No idea how long these pumps last. Go ask a friend of mine that uses the one a lot, so I'll check with him and I'll go get the other can. Another reason you want to pump the gas out and do it this way is another reason you want to pump it out this way is then you just uh, have the fuel tank suck dry, fire up the engine, burn the gas out of the carbs. You shouldn't have to clean the carbs uh, next season. If this, this is still pumping after I fill up this can, I'll put it put some in a lawn tractor and then finish siphoning it out. That's, I'm probably going to have to do that. This can is almost full. Looks like I'm going to have to put some in the uh, lawn tractor and finished off the jab. Okay, so that lawn tractor took two gallons. Oh, why on earth did I tighten that so tight? That was easy. that stupid catch me mechanism on there I really hate this tooth part it's a pain in the rear Can't be much left in here. It's only like a ten and a half, ten point seven gallon tank. Maybe ten point eight tops. Can't remember what these were rated at. I guess in there had another good gallon and a half. Now to fire it up and run the carbs dry.
tarps tuned up or checked out to see if the right side is jet sooner because this machine is only doing just barely 70 mile an hour in the open fields. You know, on the road it might be able to push 72, 73. And the, uh, this is a 500 fan, the, uh, the Formula SL, the S version with the 368cc 380 motor or 383, whatever they designated it, would do 72 out on the river all the time. So I don't know if it's just that the clutches are dirty or the belt is worn. The belt took some abuse uh, this winter pulling snowmobiles from one spot of my ear to the other, but uh, I'll have to, I'll take, have it taken in and given a once over for next winter. Shouldn't be running much longer. cool off a little bit and then run it run it dry the rest of the way okay the motor should have cooled off enough now finish burning out the gas out of the carts and the uh, fuel line run and not overheat so like not 55 to 60 degrees so that's why I let it cool off for a while while I finished mowing seven minutes already so I'm not sure I uh, paused the video filming while I was while the engine was running so
that machine's running forever on the gas in the fuel lines. If it's a four-stroke, it'd be no problem. Yeah. If it was liquid-cooled, I don't know how long it would run because that's getting cooling air to the or uh, snow to cool the engine cooling off in heat exchangers. This is fan-cooled, so you can tolerate this a little better, I think, than a uh, liquid-cooled wood. Now, now, if I had a fuel-injected snowmobile, I wouldn't have to do this. I think I heard a burble, it might be starting to run out. Definitely wrong on that burble, so. Give him another minute, then let it cool off. And then try again. got the snowmobile to run out of gas probably idled total of 15 to 17 minutes I helped it out by revving up the throttle to like three four thousand rpm at times to help burn it out faster uh, could tell when it got low it dropped from its 1500 rpm idle down to a thousand then another minute or so later bleh, it died so uh, what do I think of the Harbor Freight Fuel pump transfer, what's Majigi for ten bucks? Well worth the money uh, for a little for things like that. I mean, how else are you going to drain the tanks without taking the thing up, taking you know part of the snowmobile apart? Especially on some of the newer ones, they're a real. So they can be a real pain to take apart. So that comes in real handy to drain the tank and make it light. Or in this case, uh, storage until winter. Then you just uh, fire up the machine and wait till it quits. So it works for that. Really easy to use. I uh, saw in the video. And it pumps way better than I expected. Way better than I expected. Uh, it saved a lot of time of 
trying to figure out some other way to siphon it out and it it, ju it just works really great i mean that's probably one of the probably the best ten dollar tool i bought oh the handiest anyway as far as the best ten dollars i spent eh, the jury is out on that one but um, most of the tools and stuff i have around here are more than 10 bucks anyway so <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good tool for Harbor Freight. I recommend it for homeowners, uh, do-it-yourselfers, anything to clean, clear out the gas tanks of that type or tra in case uh, you can't lift up uh, a fuel can to a certain height. Well, that makes it a little easier to refuel certain things. Um, you may be able to say lift it up to a certain height, but then you got to pump the fuel up another foot or so into the tank, and you just can't hold it up there. That's another good per, uh, good use for that fuel pump, fuel transfer pump. Ah, I'll get it right one of these days. As you can hear, the rain is coming down pretty good on the roof. Yeah, so that's not static; that is rain. And I'll show you outside. Yeah, we got. I actually have puddles. Uh, some of the puddles, Friday ish or Thursday ish or some, stuck around for quite a while. So there are some good low spots. I was sitting on the porch, waiting for the snowmobile to run out of gas. Then it started pouring, so instead of running into the camper, I just decided to hang out in here for a little bit. As soon as it lets up, I'll just uh, run inside. It's only, you know, <laughs> 30 feet away, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a chicken. So, till next time, folks, take care.